right, shell of one. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rukwa Kadash, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rukwa Kadash, the water, Yahweh, Wa Yahweh Shah. For having me out here once again, of course, to help feed the elect, to help feed the sheep, the Lord's lambs, of course. Come on. Next, I want to give a double honor to the elders of GMS, known as Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect, to Bayasha Dawada, the house of David. Shalom, Akim Yahweh Shemeshai, Baraka Thum to the elect. Okay, Khan. Shalom, Babarakim, Labakarium, Shah Yasha Allah. Alright, so, of course, as you know it, hey man, to those that's tuning in, Lord's will you edify, man. Hey, it's Lord's creation. As you know it though, we gotta worship the Creator. It first starts with Yahweh. Um, kind of first starts with Yahweh, you know, meaning He is, He exists. Which He is the author of beauty and not the author of confusion. He's the Father of all spirits, the Almighty, Al Yashadu, you know, the King of Tevras, being Yahweh Himself, as well as His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, meaning He. Is the deliverer, he is the savior of who? The nation of Israel, starting with the elect. All right, because we're going to be the ones to inherit the kingdom and we're going to be the ones to rule over these nations. All right, and once these Edomites are extinct, there's going to be forever peace. You know, no more war, you know, no, more, no more weapons, none of that. We're going to be at peace because in the kingdom, you know, we're going to have to smite these devils, these, these heathens, these Edomites with, with a rod of iron, with, with scepters and you know, bash him in the skull. You know, for a thousand years we're gonna reign with our shah, but then we're gonna do away with them, and then it's gonna be peace, all right, for eternity, forever, man. All right, scripture speaketh about that. Um, the nations. Let me see if I can find it. They shall learn war no more. You know? Let me get that out. So lock it, Khan. Yep, it reads. This is. Isaiah 2 and 4, and he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks, even in the end time. You see? They shall, they shall beat their swords into plowshares, you see? And their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. Right. Once these devils are extinct after a thousand years. Alright, but yeah, we're gonna have to smite the nations and rule over them with a rod of iron though. During that thousand period reign for Yahweh. Which, which yeah, that's coming soon. That 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 thousand year reign. Alright, this is uh, Micah four and three, and he shall jug them up uh slug it. So first at uh, at first, uh Isaiah two and four, and he shall judge among the nations, right? But this is Micah four and three, and he shall jug uh slug it, and he shall judge among many people, you see. Hey, going back to the nations, the heathens. And rebuke strong nations of far off. They shall beat their swords into plowing shares and their spears into pointing hooks. Nations shall not lift up a sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. Alright? There's always war with these heathens, but it's not going to be anymore. Once these Edomites are extinct, we're going to have peace forever, brothers. Alright? And we got to speak of the tribes more. We got to speak of our people more. So the elect, they waking up. Alright? And that's what's gonna happen. You're gonna have to gather under the light. Matter of fact, let me get that out. Gather together. Where for where two or three are gathered together in my name, you know, here I am in the midst, you know, of them constantly. I wish I was in the midst, right? I mean, these devils too, they ain't lurking place, they they, 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 they in secret places, so they hide them out, but they're not gonna be hot, they're not gonna be able to hide from the Lord when he comes back. And they ain't lurking place, they seek to slay us, they seek to destroy us as a people, but they not gonna be able to, man. Y'all wish I was gonna come back soon. Like I said, it's a good view. All these trees is beautiful, but the point being is that. We look enough for our redemption growth not. See these birds flying, we're gonna be able to fly like birds, but even better too. Alright? 
All right. Have dominion and rulership. We're gonna give that back over the fall of the hill, over creatures. So we're gonna be above the the nations, above the heathen. All right. As it has been ordained for Israel since the beginning, you know, being above all people, above all nations that are in the earth. If you hearken and obey the Lord's, you know, statutes and commandments, right? He's gonna put you above all nations, right? Above all people, and even the creation itself, man. We're gonna be fine, better than the birds, and they're gonna love it. They're gonna like it. All right. So we're we gonna be able to have dominion. You say, you say, even um, over the fish of the sea. That's the spirit, because you got fish over there in the sea, the lake over there. So all the animals, we're going to have our rule over. Okay, going back to Adam. All right. Spirit, you hear that? It's a boat, I believe. Yeah, as you know, of course, it's the New Testament, right? Because these seasons, they're done. But, uh, Khan, this is, uh, gathered together, Khan. The con this is Mark 13 27. And then shall he send his angels and shall gather together his elect from the four winds. That's what he's speaking of. And it's coming to pass, man. Four winds. Alright. East, south, north, west. Alright. Oh, so like a con. Uh, well, this is the order. East, south, west, north. Alright, both southern and northern kingdom is gonna be delivered. Okay. And all it starts with the elect, the first fruits. That's what's gonna be um, saved first. That's who's gonna make it first, first round, man. I mean, who, who, who don't want to be of the elect? You gotta be out of your mind. You gotta be a sicko if you don't want to be of the of the elect. You don't want to be chosen. Hey, man, I want a crown of my head. That's my desire. Ultimately, come on. You see what I mean? That should be you, brothers and sisters. I know y'all y'all desiring that for a crown to be placed on your head. Come on, this is what we're waiting for. All right. Wars, rumors of war. This is what we've seen. All right. Ultimately, we get tired of this shit too. All this war and stuff. We get tired of it, man. Yeah, but the Lord, He gonna send His angels real soon. He gonna get to the elect. All right. From the four winds. All right. East. My bad. East. What? What? Starting with right. Con the order. What's the order? East, south, west, north. Both southern and northern kingdoms gonna be delivered, and then you gonna have the angels. Throughout the four corners of the earth, throughout the four winds, you know, holding back the four winds, delivering the elect, helping to deliver Yahweh Shah's elect, helping to deliver the Lord's elect. You see, so yeah, this is what the Lord is doing. He's coming to, to redeem us, right? Redemption draws not, He's coming to redeem Israel, but that's who redemption is for. So Israel. Con, it's a book of uh, Jeremiah 2 and 21. Yeah, I have planted thee a noble vine, holy a right seed. How then art thou turned into the degenerate plant of a strange vine of me? Yes, you know, this is what two thirds have done, man. You can't be like that. You see? I'm about to wrap up. About to, about to wrap up. My fault. My bad. Last part. Last part. Yeah, I'm about to finish up. Man. Like I said, well, it's not parts to this, but you know, I'm just doing a few. I hate to ruin people day, but hey, this should be good. At the end of the day, hey, um, your patience possess your soul. At times, you gotta be patient with people too, though. Themselves, some people can't be patient, but come on. There's a book of Colossians 3 and 15 say, And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be thankful. Come on. And some people pass by, can't, they, they might not even want to hear the word, but hey, this is so good, because hey, Congregation of the dead at the end of the day. If you if you leaving to go somewhere else and you're not stopping to hear the word, you know, you just stop it to take a brother's spot to take come on. Trying to dethrone brothers, not nah, but point being is that you're condemned already if you just leaving to go somewhere else and not to hear the word. Even if you with family. I mean look, he that loveth brother, sister, mother, father more than me is not worthy of me. So you gotta Ultimately, your love has to be uh, with you. How much I have to be connected with this thing, man? You, know, you can't just be all slouchy and lazy and slothful in the spirit and just not be patient. You know, these people, they can't bear the indignation of the Lord. Listen, man, if you can't even stop to hear the word of the Lord, what makes you think you could bear the indignation of the Lord, man? I mean, that fierce anger is going to fall upon you 
and you two thirds, you're gonna be in a liquid fire real soon, man. Pretty much, that's what's gonna happen. Uh, Icon, this is the book of um. So yeah, to say, uh, be thankful. Colossians three and fifteen. You gotta be thankful every day. You have to be thankful, man. I mean, what what is it, um, you know, not to be thankful for, man? You have to be thankful for everything that you have received. You know, Tan uh, tangible, carnal, whatever. It's about spiritual things. This is what you mainly gotta be thankful for. You know, physical things at times, but that's like if it's food, clothing, raiment, you know, supplies, appliances, you know, like they say, uh, you know, things for the house, furniture, be thankful for that. Shelter, a home to stay in, which these are physical things, but they're also mean not like really carnal things either, because you're gonna have furniture actually in the kingdom too. So, but we're gonna be thankful for it all, man. All right, be thankful you got a backpack to pack your stuff in. There's some jigs that are homeless, they don't even carry nothing. They ain't got nothing in their pocket, man. Their pockets ain't even fat. They, they don't got no cheddar, like Jake said. They ain't got no cheese. They just broke. They not have, They don't got nothing. They don't even, hey man, they don't even got keys to a house. They probably live in a shelter on the street. Which, that ain't bad if you're living in a shelter. You know, the Lord still probably take care of you. By way of his, his servant, the prophet, his elect, or his angels. They, they, the angels, hey, they coming back. They, they here right now. They here. You know, probably can't see them, can't even see other stuff. But angels is, hey, they drop down here all the time. But they, they travel in vehicles, man. They, angels is here with us in the spirit. Especially Alba Shem Shah. But point being is that the angels, they see everything too. They're protecting mainly the elect. Right? And if you a Jake that is down bad, people might look at you like, oh, this guy's this and that. But you might be an elect. A homeless Jake, a, a Jake that's down in the spirit, has low tough esteem, probably or something. The Lord might be dealing with that person. Certain people might look at him, oh, you're too thorough, this and that. Oh, he broke, he ain't got nothing. Man, look, listen, man, be thankful you got keys to enter into a home, man. Certain Jakes don't have that. All right? These are Jakes I, I tend to support, that I could have a talk with. These Jakes out in the world, they got everything, bro. They, they, they getting their um, paycheck every, every month, you know? They still getting, a, um, they're like a spoiled brat. They're like a spoiled child. They still getting allowances from their parents. Well, here it is. They don't even work, but they still uh, probably live alone, or live with their parents. But here it is. They they getting supported all they like. They, they ain't put no hard work. They ain't out, out here. They, they not even out, out here hitting the highways and hedges, going hard for this truth. They just spoiled. There's a lot of these spoiled brats, man. These chicks, man. They don't work hard for nothing. And the sweat of thy face, yeah, of course, going back to Adam. But certain these chicks, they don't do shit, man. They just stay at home get their monthly check, you know? And then, not even that, they probably get kicked out of the home, but the majority of these chicks, they probably just, they got somewhere to stay. And they getting supported all their life. I'm talking about these, these spoiled chicks, man, you know? That, that, they need their parents all their life. Look, man, you gotta leave everything off and fall out the hour all right? Point being is that, you can't be in the household day, you gotta come out here, you gotta work hard, man, you gotta, you gotta Give, give us yours, give, give us deserved, give us needed, man, that daily bread, you're gonna need it to support the family. You got certain Jake, they don't even support their family. They rather just put her in dust. Hey, man, that's sick, that's crazy, man. But his grandparents, young ch children, as a young child, he might wanna murder you, he might wanna kill you, man. Yeah. Or even a grandparent. They just so old now, they tired, they're like, man, fuck all this. They're like, fuck y'all. They out. That's it. Well, they, they commit suicide. They kill themselves, man. Yeah. You got shit like that, man. People ain't thankful. They ain't grateful for, for the life they have been given in this present time right now. They're not thankful. So they, what they do, they commit suicide, man. All right? Yeah. So, Con, this is a book of Psalm 92 and 13. It reads, Those that be planted in the house of the Lord, Yahweh, shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing, yeah, in, in the kingdom. You might have certain jakes that look older than each other or certain jakes that look younger than each other, but we're going to still uh, flourish. As for faith, it shall flourish, yeah, even in this time right now. But they shall be fat and flourishing, yeah, we're going to have the fatness of the earth. By that time, when we in the kingdom, especially here on, um, that, uh, here, here upon earth, when New Jerusalem drops down from heaven. That's also the fatness of the earth that uh, Jacob has received from his father Isaac. That's one of the blessings that Jacob has received, you know. 
having the fatness of the earth. And yeah, this is what we're going to have. We're going to have it to our possession. And you heathens for our inheritance, you see? These heathen men, you just going to have them straight bow down. Real talk. The Edomites, we're going to just, we're going to spank their ass. We're going to be whooping their ass, man. I'm telling you. Hey, Khan, this is a book of Colossians 2 and 7. It reads, rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as he had been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Right, Khan. You got a bound in faith. You have to be faithful to the very end. You have to endure to the end. The scriptures speak of that. So really, it's all about the elect. It's all about endurance. Fighting that good fight of faith. Spirit here in the sovereigns. The Lord's going to make a way. Look, listen, man. No matter if all hell breaks loose, the Lord is going to make it a way and escape for us, man. All right? It doesn't matter if the enemy comes in like a flood. We're still going to be kept alive, man. And it's about survival, man. Certainly, you jakes, you don't even know about uh, survival tactics, you know? The keys to, to success or the, the keys to survival, you know. Yeah, man, you gotta you gotta look to man. There's a page I follow too. It says a guide, yeah, guide to survival. You gotta you gotta know how to tie stuff. You gotta be able to know how to make your own food and cook. You know, do stuff outside, go out in the wild. This is this is freak. I'm in a wildlife refuge, whatever they call it. This is wildlife right here. It's like a park. I'm in nice river, whatever you call it, right? It's a spirit, but the point being is that you gotta know how to like go out in the wild, get along with the creation, you know, get along with the animals. You know, spirit of Lord, he, spirit of Lord could um teach you certain things. You alone at times, but the Lord's still there with you. You know, but you gotta learn how to go on your own journey, walk that own your own path, you know, and send that and send to that straight gate. You know, be rooted up and established in the faith. Not only that, you gotta walk by faith and not by sight. For we walk by faith, not by sight. So at the end of the day, whatever it is, you might have a jig that, that goes out camping, go out hunting, whatever it is. You gotta know how to go on a hunt and get get your own food too. You gotta know, like, God to survive. You gotta know how to do certain things, man. Backpack, being able to pack your own stuff and just survive off of just the wild, just out here, man. You know, the real man could survive on his own, man. These women, they really need us, man. So these are the things that we need to see. Like I gotta teach my people this, man. Now you don't gotta go on doomsday pressures. Bring it, bring your tent. Make sure you got your, your appliances, your stuff, man. You know, a few luggages, uh, packages, whatever it is. Uh, what they call that? Make sure you got a luggage and of course, um, what's that other thing? Um, a duffel bag. Yeah. You know, yeah, that too. Make sure you got your stuff, man. You might have to go on vacation, man. Hey, passport bros, yeah. You might have to do that at times, man. So, spirit has it to where, look, man, we're going to be fleeing from these women, man. They're going to be chasing us, man. You know, fuck trying to seek approval and seek attention from these women. Hell no, man. We don't need any of that, man. You better say, blessed are they that hunger and thirst at the righteousness sake, roughly paraphrasing. All right, for my name's sake, roughly paraphrasing, come. That are persecuted for my name's sake, come. You got to be hungry and thirsty for the truth, man. Right. Hey, it's the honest truth. But Khan, this is um Ecclesiastes 1 and 18. For in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increases knowledge increases sorrow. Khan. This is the book of Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Because you have to excel in strength, just as the angels gotta increase in wisdom, knowledge, and strength. And wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you gotta increase in that, increase in strength. Increase in power, all that wisdom. You know, but don't be in that high and mighty full spirit, high and mighty spirit, but make sure you humble yourself within all that, you know. And being the you just gotta be humble, man. Humbleness of mind. You gotta remember the Lord, he's with us, he's on our side. He's the reason we're alive to this day, he's the reason we exist. The Lord is the reason we exist. We gotta be thankful for all for, for everything, you see. It's Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. It reads. On. It reads, Surely oppression make up the wise man mad, and a gift is short the heart. Yeah, a gift, a, gift, a gift from the wicked. You see? So, yo, yeah. your enemy might give you a, a so called gift, but it, that shit going to short the heart. Alright? Yeah, so, 
convert us. This is the book of um, Jeremiah 1 and 16 in the NLT. I will pronounce judgment on my people for all their evil, for deserting me and burning incense to other gods. Yes, they worship idols made with their own hands. Yes, they worship idols made with their own hands. Come. They're deserting me, which whatever that word means, right? But you got to also ultimately uh, desire the Lord. You know, deserting, you see that word. Oh, I see. Abandon. Yeah, deserting. You see, you can't abandon the Lord. You can't deny the Lord. All that hate me love death. If you hate the Lord, you're basically denying him. If you deny the Lord, then you hate the Lord. You, you love death. But if you love the Lord, he's going to love you all his life. He's going to say that. Love the Lord all thy life. He's going to also say, proving that the elect love the Lord. Because say how the elect shall praise his holy name. Come on, man. All right, the elect shall praise his holy name. All right? That's right. That's in the NLT, though. Jeremiah 1 and 16. All right? Come on, I'm also bring it out in the um, KJV, though. That's the that's original one we use, right? Come on, let's say. And I will utter my judgments against them, touching all the wickedness who have forsaken me. See? And have burnt incense unto other gods and worship the works of their own hands. That's crazy. See, the elect is not into that. You know? We're not into worshiping idols. Uh, verse 17. Get up in the NLC. Get up and prepare for action. Go out and tell them everything I tell you to say. Do not be afraid of them. The Lord speaking unto his prophets, man, you can't be afraid of these two-thirds, man. Or I will make you look foolish in front of them, con. Be an embarrassment. Verse 18, for see, today I have made you strong like a fortified city that cannot be captured, like an iron pillar for a bronze wall. <laughs> yo. Nah, yo, these other versions be in hard, man. And that's funny, I shared this with my brother, you know, because he's talking to this girl. But I'm like, yo, man, I'm waiting for the kingdom to get wise, to get a woman. He believe in that we won't have sex with him. I'm like, what? So you say be fruitful, multiply, man. That was back in the beginning, man. That's gonna be forever, man. You know, the commandment that the Allah I am gave unto Adam and Eve, hey, be fruitful, multiply, you know. The Allah I am gave commandments, you know. Uh Jeremiah 1 and 18. For see today I have made you strong like a fortified city that cannot be captured, like an iron pillar. For a bronze wall, you will stand against the whole land. The kings, officials, priests, and people of Judah. Khan. Alright? Which is going to be a defense city. All the tribes. All 12 tribes. But we're going to be standing amongst these people, man. Even um, going back to John. You know, and Daniel. Daniel coming back is a lot. Also, John. Even Ezra seeing the angels having communication. And seeing the angels and all that. John saw the apostles and the angels as well. He saw the son of man. He saw Yahusha. Daniel. He was a prophet. He seen many visions and dreams. He came back in his life. But with John. Spirit had it to where um, it, uh, the, the angel said, Look, I shall prophesy against, um, come back in that lot, basically. I shall prophesy against many kings, priests, rulers, whatever. Roughly paraphrase, I'll tell you that in, in the scripture. So that's the spirit, man. All right. Hey, man, like I said, these other versions being hard because I was sharing a few with my brother. And he was laughing, man. My sibling, my actual sibling. So, like I said, these other versions is fire because he was talking to this girl. It's like, Yo, you don't mind if I share a few with you? I know you're going to laugh. We, hey, when we read these scriptures, we laugh too, but we mainly take this truth seriously, of course. But we laugh within it all because these scriptures are funny too, though, man. All right, because these heathen, hey, why do the heathen rage? We laugh at this stuff. We laugh at, the, at like, at certain stuff, man, at the heathen. And when the scriptures speak of the heathen and how they're going to be for our inheritance, how they're going to go into slavery. He that leadeth the ca captivity shall go into captivity. We laugh at this because we're going to rejoice at the end, man. All right, this is what's meant for Israel, man. All right, we're going to inherit everlasting life. We're going to be as kings and priests, man. That's what we are. We're future kings and priests, man. All right? I mean, hey, what do you expect, man? This is only for Israel, man. This is only for the elect. All right? It's going to be like the last man standing out here, man. Be like the, the last survivor out here, man. You know, but the point being is that, yo, man, it was just funny. I was chopping off with my brother. How much more with the brothers, the actual brothers? The truth, the true brotherhood. You know, your real family. You understand? But the point being is that, look, man. We, hey, certain brothers, we have laughs, we joke around at times, but we may even take this truth seriously, man. You know? Scriptures say, hey, take it cheerfully, too, rough and fair, man. So, you know, you have your laugh here and there. But we met a Lord, so we, we don't joke around too much, especially when these people come by. They will 
always trying to start some shit. He's two thirds. Point being is that hey, make your call election sure. You understand? So I can come. Yeah, so make your call election sure. You know, you have to repent. You have to repent. The evil days is finna drill down, so you know, hey, get right, Israel, you know? Get right. This is who the Lord is dealing with. He's only dealing with the elect, the Bukharium. All right, Bakayar, Shalya, Shalom, elect of Israel. Next double honor to the elders of GMS and peace of blessings to the elect of Yahshua Dawda, that was David Shalom, Akim. 